The latest batch of insurance claims from Hurricane Ian revealing more than $1 billion in estimated losses for those lucky enough to even be covered. Remember, a basic home insurance policy does not cover flooding. And out of the nine counties declared as disaster zones, just 29% have federal flood insurance. That leaves 1.3 million households in those areas without insurance coverage because they don't have flood insurance. Joining us now, host of Varney & Company on Fox Business, Stuart Varney. Stuart, I didn't realize the shockingly low number of Floridians that have federal flood insurance, therefore they may not even qualify. That's what makes this disaster even worse. It's all about flood insurance. If you look at the southwest uh, coastline of Florida, way under half of those properties have flood insurance. Way under half, and they've been decimated. Go inland towards Orlando, and it's below 2% that have flood insurance. I mean, these people are now facing financial disaster. And as you point out, those nine counties that have been declared disaster areas, that pays for minor damage clearance, minor cleanup. It does not pay for flood insurance. Now, just go forward a little bit. Yeah, we're, yeah that, that was the question. So how does this play out? How does it play out? Over a long period of time, there's going to be money distributed, but it will take a very long time to get Florida booming again. In fact, it'll take years. You've got all these people who are facing financial ruin. I, I don't think that's too strong a word. Mm -hmm. If you're flooded and you've got no flood insurance, what do you do? You've just lost the equity in your house for sure. And how do you rebuild? No bank will offer a loan on a property unless that property has flood insurance. And flood insurance is going to be extremely expensive and very hard to find. So, I, I think it brings Florida's boom to an end. That's what it is. Really? Yeah, I think so, yes. Uh, and I see a political challenge coming here. President Biden has the money. The feds have the money. Will he chuck a lot of money into Florida? Will he do that? Because that would make DeSantis kind of look bad, wouldn't it? And it's a political contest between DeSantis and Biden to some degree. And there's another question. Who's going to do the work? Who will clear up all the mess and rebuild? There's a worker shortage already. Will somebody suggest putting the migrants to work? Well, somebody's going to do it. DeSantis. No, it won't be DeSantis. I mean, it could be Biden. It could be Democrats who say, look, they're here. Put them to work. Why not? Let them work in Florida. You need the workers. I can see it coming a mile off. Would you, a could you see a, a bailout's probably the wrong word, but some sort of a, assistance to people who were flooded but didn't have flood insurance from the federal level? Well, that's out there as a proposition. But who would pay for that? Pay. It'd have to be the feds. Or who would pay for student loan forgiveness as well? That moves oh, us, okay. that moves us nicely to the that next one. topic. Here's Joe Biden talking about spending yesterday. Listen. The Inflation Reduction Act takes the most aggressive action to confront our climate crisis ever, in all of human history, ever. We're going to do all this while reducing the deficit last year, $350 billion, and this year by $1 trillion. I'm so sick of Republicans saying we're the big spenders. Give me a break. Uh, I'm sorry, that doesn't fly, Pete. That does not <laughs> fly. Uh, he wants to spend somewhere in the region of a half trillion dollars on student loan forgiveness. Mm -hmm. He's been taken to court by six Republican states who say, you can't spend money like that without authorization from Congress. What you're doing is unconstitutional. There are political challenges as well. A, it's not fair. What about all those people who've already paid off their loans? Uh, B, the moral question, why should anybody ever Absolutely. pay off a loan in the future on a car or anything? Which you could face the flood insurance argument too. But, but Exactly. Yep. Precisely right. So where are we with the student loan bailout program? I think it's going to sink. I don't think he's going to get it. Uh, even though he's trying to buy votes right before the election. Yeah, maybe he gets the political benefit that he hopes for, even if it doesn't go through. By the way, at and least he is he, a big spender. Of, of course. He's a giant spender. A giant spender, <laughs> right. indeed. Look at the Fed and interest rates and what Absolutely. they've had to do to tamp down inflation. By the way, at least he admitted that the Inflation Reduction Act was about green energy. Which he did. He always knew from the Finally. Beginning. Finally. <laughs> Stuart Varney, great to see you. Thank always. you, Pete. Really see Watch you. Varney and Company, of course, weekdays from 9 to noon, every day on Fox Business and American Built. Tuesday nights on Fox Business as well. Look at that smiling face. <laughs>